I'm Christine Garcia, and this is Bossify. This episode of Bossify is proudly brought to you by Janet Lawless Christ and Team Luxury Real Estate. Hi, great to see you. Thanks for watching another episode of Bossify. Today I am with the incredible Christine Garcia. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me here. Christine Garcia is a member of the San Diego Police Department. She protects and serves America's finest city as an accident investigation officer. She is also the first openly transgender police officer in the city of San Diego. She made the transition from Chris to Christine in 2015. All right, first question. Here we go. You ready? Absolutely. You were born ready. First question is, how do you define success? I define success uh, pretty much doing whatever you love doing mm -hmm. uh, and being really good at it. And so if you, if you love to do... Um, you know, if you love to do art or, or anything that has to do with, uh, with whatever job that you're doing mm -hmm. and you're really good at it, that is the definition of success. Just loving what you're doing and then how you do it really, right? Absolutely. We should all love what we do. And you do. You're an embodiment of that. But I know that it's taken you some time to be able to come into your own, in your own body, in your own vision, in your own heart. Uh, tell us a little bit about that journey of how that has changed, that definition of success has changed over time. Well, um, so I work for the San Diego Police Department, uh, and right now I work for the Traffic Accident Investigation Bureau. Um, I do fatal injury accidents as well as uh, serious injury accidents. I do a lot of reconstruction work for that. It involves a lot of calculus and trigonometry and stuff like that. Um, and Things I, that scare me, truly scare oh, me. They do, yeah. right? <laughs> um, well, you know, and they used to scare me too, but as I started to learning to love what I do mm -hmm. and started actually applying it to real world, um, work, it, it became very enjoyable for me. And um, I've always been a really good cop. Um, it's just that for, the, for eight years uh, prior to um, coming into being comfortable with my own body now, mm -hmm. uh, I lived as a Christopher Garcia, a man. And uh, I struggled with gender identity uh, and gender dysphoria my entire life, ever since I was a child. Mm -hmm. And um, I tried to hide it for 31 years and then at 31 years old I knew that I had to make a change and live my life as my authentic self. What was that lynch moment, that linchpin moment we talk about where it's that greatest challenge turned blessing? There's got to be that moment for you. I think um, all of us as transgender individuals we hit kind of what we call bottom mm -hmm. uh, and, and I mean, you hear that with the term with, um, you know, like recovering alcoholics or, or anybody who's under a great deal of stress in their life where they absolutely have to make a change. Mm -hmm. And that was where I hit. Um, I was, uh, and I still am, married. Uh, I have two kids. Um, but I hit a point in my life where, you know, I could no longer deny this. I had tried for so long. And believe me, I tried for 31 years to be a man. Um, but it just was not who I was. Mm -hmm. And um, I was very ashamed of um, being transgender, and I was trying to, like I said, I was trying to hide that fact. Mm -hmm. um, but eventually, uh, I hit a point in my life where I knew I needed to do this. I knew I needed to live as my authentic self, yeah. and I was willing to give everything up for that. And what I mean by that is I didn't know what my wife was going to think. I didn't know what my children were going to think. I didn't know what my job was going to think. Um, I didn't know of any other transgender police officers, so that was incredibly difficult. Anywhere, right? Uh, anywhere. anywhere. Yeah, that, I, I didn't know of anything. At that point, you had no connection to anybody. You didn't have that support system. Yeah. And your closest person, the love of your life that you've married, you don't know if they're going to stay around either. Right. And you had to still have the courage to be your authentic self. Right. Yeah. So eventually I just, uh, I seeked out some counseling to try to mm -hmm. make myself um, feel more comfortable with the idea of being transgender. Mm -hmm. uh, and originally when I went out for counseling i actually originally asked the counselor to please make me what we call normal or what society would consider normal yeah. um, but what i found out is this is normal this is what is normal me and so um the first step was coming out to my wife and telling her now she always knew that i had um dressed up like a girl and this is when i'm 
you know, still living my life as a man. Mm -hmm. um, she never knew that I was going to transition. She was okay with the fact that I was dressing, but didn't think I would transition. And when I came to her and told her I was going to transition, um, it was hard at first, yeah. but uh, really quickly for her. And I mean, within the matter of a couple of days, she came to me and said, you know what? I love you. I fell in love with you as the person, not your what you know your looks or anything like that just you and I couldn't imagine spending my life in any other way and I've been going through this journey for the last year and a half yeah. and she's still there and she's still very supportive and I don't know what I would have done in this journey without her yeah the love is love yeah love is love she really loves you yeah truly your soul and oh, your she's being and truly amazing that is incredible yeah that that is uh, i'm just i'm i'm moved i'm very i'm very touched and i can tell how much the strength is we we all talk uh in bossify about having that tribe and having that support system and it was amazing that you were willing to put it all on the line yeah and yet those people that you really wanted to count on didn't leave you right they didn't leave your side yeah and, and i had a, i had a lot of acceptance. I had acceptance yeah. within the department. That was the other question I was going to yeah. ask. Yeah. So the, what was that like to come out and, and to hold that space as this new officer that literally did not exist? Oh yeah. The that, position, you with your name, the whole thing. I think that was about the scariest thing I've ever done mm -hmm. in my life. Um, mm -hmm. Being a cop and working some areas in the city where it was very dangerous. Yeah. Um, and I'm talking, you know, um, gun calls, knife mm -hmm. calls, um, you know, murders, uh, and, and all of that wasn't as scary as coming out to everybody on the department. Wow. Um, I truly, truly felt um, just the way that society was, that I was going to lose all respect in the department. Mm -hmm. um, I actually was going to quit uh, to begin with. When wow. I decided that I was going to undergo this journey, mm -hmm. uh, I started looking at other jobs. And I didn't think that you could be transgender and be a police officer. Um, but I did a little research and I found a group out there called T Cops International and it's a group called, uh, it's, it's actually called Transgender Community of Police and Sheriffs and it was other individuals out there, other cops out there mm -hmm. around the world that have done the same thing that I was about to go through. Wow. And so through them I found support and I found peers and I found that it can be done. Um, now in that group we, we had had some individuals who had very horrible stories mm -hmm. in their agencies. We're not going to sugarcoat this. No. But you did have a really lovely experience. Oh, yeah. People were really supportive throughout yes. the whole community, your job, your family. And that brings us to the fact that this definition of success, this loving what you do and yourself in the process, is really then who you are as a person. And that's, right. a, that's one of the questions that we ask everyone is, how has that definition of success then formed your sense of self? And I feel like that's, that's so obvious with just how you're holding yourself here. Yeah. I mean, this is like a dream. It really is. That I can be my authentic self, mm -hmm. I can be transgender, and I can still do what I love to do. I can still do the job that I've always loved to do, which at one point I thought I was going to have to give up. And now I didn't. And it's, it's amazing. It really is. It reinforces your joy every day, I bet, right? Oh, yeah. I I'm thankful every day that I go to work. Um, I love being there. Everybody can tell that I love being there. Do, yeah. And um, because I love being there, I strive to become one of the best. I strive to become one of the best accident reconstructionists, um, which is not an easy job. And I kind of make it look easy at times. I've witnessed her in court when I was a reporter, and you did. You yeah. just you just go off with the facts, and you make it because you can tell that it's really who you are. It's your passion. Right. It's not something that I don't know a whole lot of five and six year olds that are like, I want to be a reconstructionist. But that's that's you. It's your authentic self. Right. It's gorgeous. And on that note, I really am excited to hear this advice. We ask the same thing to everybody. What advice would you give your seventeen year old self? And for you, this is just, I just want to hear, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, go, lay it on me. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, 17-year-old self was um, Christopher Garcia, a man. And um, that has kind of been one of the things that people have asked me that. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, some people have asked me, uh, do you have any regrets? Mm -hmm. Do you wish you would have done this earlier in life? And I always say, yes, I, w I wish I would have done this earlier. But really, do I? I mean, who knows how life would have turned out? I try never to have regrets because... 
you know, we even the mistakes that we make, it defines who we are. Absolutely. And so I, I try to think to myself, you know, this is just, this, this was how my life was supposed to be. I obviously wasn't supposed to come out until later. And if I would have come out earlier, maybe I would not have met my wife. Yeah. Maybe I would not have had my two children and they would not have been born. Um, it's your journey and your journey alone. Yeah, so it's it's hard to, to think about my 17-year-old self and what would I have done um, just because I'm, you know, nothing would have, it would not have been the same. I, I would not have been the same person. And you love this person. Yeah. You really I mean, do. who knows? Maybe I would not have even become a cop, but, yeah. you know. True, that's true. Okay, last thing. What is one thing I don't know about you? Fun little fact that I should know about Christine oh. Garcia. Well, I really love photography. Oh, um, yeah. Did not know this. Yeah, I really love photography. As a matter of fact, a lot of the crime scene photos that I take are at night, and I do a lot of nighttime photography where I uh, open bulb, which is where we open shutter, okay. and um, we collect as much light in from the scene as possible, and I try to make it look like daytime, pretty much. Uh, and a lot of the district attorneys love it, and they use it in court because I take very good photos. Um, She's the and coolest. I wish, I, I wish I can get into it more. I just, I, I sometimes I don't find the time. Or well, I don't know. I don't feel like I have the eye, you know, but... Uh, I get to do it at work. She's so coming that's really off of great. a huge shift from last night. You haven't even gone to bed yet. You haven't no. even gotten the chance to sleep. This is how hard this woman works. Yeah. Christine, you are an inspiration to me and to everyone. Thank you for holding the space and to be you, your authentic self, to speak your truth. You just inspired so many, so many more people. Thank you. Thank you so much for Thank, having me here. This was beautiful. It means a lot. It means a lot to me. Yeah. Oh, we'll talk some more. Thank okay, you. on that, thanks again for watching another episode of Bossify. Until next time, have a great day. Now it's your turn to join the movement. Join the discussion on our Facebook page and see more episodes on our website at abbygibb.tv. Be bold, brilliant, brave. You are Bossify. This episode of Bossify was proudly sponsored by Janet Lawless Christ and Team Luxury Real Estate.